Okay, welcome. I've gotten a few questions as far as how do I print an 11 by 11 on 11 by 17 piece of paper? Good question. Well, the answer is it's when you finally print it, it's not going to be. It's not going to be exactly 11 by 11, especially when I demonstrate to you how to use crop marks. And the reason I want you to use crop marks is because some of you, when you're printing, won't bleed off the edges of the paper. So I need to show you how to print, and then we'll go through uh, to the next couple of movies and do some uh, uh, wizardry as far as Photoshop is concerned. The other thing is that I did upload um, some files or some movies that you could look at uh, uh, with regards to tutorials that are available to you through the MCTC library. Okay, well, let's look at the document window right now. All I did is I opened up um, a new file, and I'm setting this workspace to Essentials. And I want to reset it in case I was playing around with it um, earlier, and I moved some palettes around. Then the other thing that I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to make sure that my default colors, my foreground background colors, are set to black and white. And you'll notice that the black is foreground and the white is background color. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new document. And I'm going to call this trans for transparent. You'll notice that this is pixels, which I don't want. I want to set it to inches and that's way too big. So that's 11 by 11 and I'm going to set the resolution at 150. Because I'm printing, I am setting the resolution at 150. This is a print, it's not for the web. So I'm going to say okay. This is my file, this is what I have at the moment and now I just need to place an image and the way we place an Im image is we're going to go to file we're going to go to place, and I know what my file's name is, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in, click on the next folder, right there it is, and I'm going to place. Okay, what you're seeing here is my image has been automatically fit proportionally to the document size. I'm going to have to do some scaling and so I'm going to move this up a little bit so I can do some scaling on this. If I hold my shift key down everything's going to scale for me uh, proportionately. Okay it's a little off the artboard and that's okay. I knew I was going to have to crop some. Okay right here it is. We've talked a lot about about balance this semester so I'm going to make sure that it. I think it's balanced. You may not agree. Okay, so right here, this is my image. It's, it's where I need it to be for this particular. I haven't done any color correction, nothing like that. I'm going to double click. So now my image is set. I can still tweak it by using my up and down arrows and my side to side arrows. I want to make sure that it's actually covering all that white space. Look at my layers palette. I have a background layer that's white. And right here is my image. It's on another layer. Photoshop puts co anything you copy and paste on a separate layer. It'll also put any image that you lay place in on a separate layer. And that is, is because when we're working with bitmaps or rastered files, we want to make sure things are staying separated. In Illustrator, we can stack, but the vectors always remain separated. Not so in Photoshop. Okay, so we can see that icon. Right now, this icon is telling me that it's a smart image. And whenever something is a smart image, that means that it's in within a vector, the, a bitmap within a vector. If it's a smart image, I cannot, I cannot utilize all the tools within Photoshop. So I'm going to come over the name, hold down my control key, click, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize that image. Okay, it's rasterized. You notice that that little icon is gone. Now I'm going to go ahead. I got my image. I haven't done color correcting, nothing like that. So I'm going to come ahead, go ahead 
And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to print. And I'm going to go print. And it has been kind of pre-set up. I'm going to show you how I did set this up so you can see it. I have selected my color printer, bare one. Print settings. What I did is where you when you come in, it may be set to US letter. But I'm going to come back here and I want tabloid to make sure that it's a that it is going to be 1117. And I'm going to save it. And what this is saying, hey, your color things aren't working. And I'll say, okay, thank you for warning me. Now, I have a scroll bar here. And what I'm going to ask you to do on this is I want the position centered if it's not centered. And what I also want you to do is to scale the fit. When I scale the fit, it is going to fit my image inside, inside the live print area. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, the other thing that if you aren't bleeding off all four sides, you're not going to know where to trim it. You're also noticing that it's going to be 10.597 inches. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, if I want crop marks, it's going to even get smaller. I'm going to add crop marks. But this time, even scale to fit, it's not paying much attention to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here. And I need to change, I need to change this just a little bit. I'm not going to go scale to fit. I'm going to have to now what you'll notice that my arrow turned into a double headed arrow. I'm holding down the shift key. Now I'm going to scan it. And you'll notice if I hold down the shift key and I scan it by my mouse, now I have it set for 10 by 10.166, 92%. You know, if you want, all you need to do is come in here and you could say 92%. And you will have it scanted, you'll have it centered, and it would be just perfect. Now I'm going to hit print. It's also it's warning me my color syncs aren't my color is not synced anymore. I'm going to say okay, not a problem. I'm going to say, okay, this is everything here. It, it's printing me one copy on tabloid. It's a color printer. Everything's good to go. I'm going to say print. It's again warning me, Col your color's not synced. Well, okay, well, that's tough. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now I've done it. I've set the print, and now it should go, go to the color printer. And this is the way you do it. You'll trim it to size. I would glue it on your board first. And then once it's glued on the board, then I would trim it to the edge of this particular document. Thank you so much.